Hi, my name is uh, Gary Felgebaum. I'm a principal of Advanced Decisions, and today I'd like to talk to you about testing real-time embedded systems. Testing embedded systems certainly has its own set of uh, challenges. The earlier that one gets involved in setting up the strategy and setting up the architecture to enable testing is really important. So I feel that as soon as you're conceiving a project, or as soon as you're conceiving an embedded system, the ideal thing is to start thinking about how are you going to test the system. To get started in testing, the Probably the same thing is needed as to get started in developing the system. And it gets back to the simplest thing, which is requirements. Sitting down, defining what it is that you want to build, and then starting to think about, well, how might I test this? Do I have to add anything special? Hardware, you might have to add special electronics with test points. Uh, you might have to add special software for logging. There's certain things in embedded systems that you might need to add that you would not necessarily be thinking of in an application. It's different in the sense that you're interacting with a lot of real-world physical processes. So you're measuring things that you may not have control over, whereas in application testing you can set up a dedicated type of a test database and test against a test database. In the real world, in applications, you may have to really think hard and long about how you might want to simulate processes that you really can't control. And that may take uh, actually designing certain tools or certain types of uh, computer uh, modeling simulations that you need to do to make embedded system testing actually work. So there, there are quite a few differences in application testing and embedded systems testing. This is Gary Fellowbaum, a principal of Advanced Decisions. Thank you for watching.